Let's -a go. Well, to get the hack that I'm gonna play right now, getting it wasn't so simple. I actually had to do a bit of digging around just to get it. That's because, according to CM30, the isolationist com com tendencies of this community suck. The community I'm referring to is the Japanese. They tend to want to keep all their hacks to themselves. Recently, it's been even more so like that. Apparently, Keith Master 30 somehow single handedly made all the Japanese SMW hackers hate the Western ones. Apparently, there's some major unreleased demo of a Japanese hack that he just leaked without their consent. Maybe that's maybe they come even more hostile towards Western hackers ever since then, and it's been even harder to acquire Japanese hacks. Cause yeah, acquiring Japanese hacks these days isn't so easy. There used to be an archive full of them, but ever since then, access is forbidden. But hilariously enough, you can go and take at pages and put it in the Wayback Machine, and some of the links, hell, even some of the hacks are still archived or archived. I think that's how you pronounce it. For example. This one. Hyper 7. I'm assuming this is by Hadamari, who made some of the earlier ones. A bunch of talk houses have played some of the Hyper installments, like Jopen Gambler played Hyper 1 and 2, I think. A Terraformer was playing 6, I think. And this is 7. I think it's a one world demo, but hey. Hyper 7. I believe I actually found this. When I said Japanese hack, I wasn't kidding, it's in Japanese, so I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> Just go. What, Skyworld already? Okay, where is this? Cool, I can go in here. But to what purpose? So yeah, this is a Japanese hack, so what am I gonna expect from it? Let's find out. Let's go to this level. Let's just call it level 1 for the sake of not knowing what the Japanese is. Um, okay, this is pretty weird so far. We got clouds from Yoshi's Island right next to clouds from Super Mario World. You should pick one and stick with it. I think. And then a cloud from Yoshi's Island again. Okay, that diamond is a dragon coin, apparently. <laughs> oh, those are ninjas. I thought they were some weird re-sprite or whatever. What the hell am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. So yeah, CM30. If you saw episode 92, you could probably already take a guess as to who he is. Yup, it's Cheat Master. That's the guy that- the, I'm talking about the guy that made freaking Mario Endgame. If you didn't already see how much of a train wreck that was, just go a few videos back. Just go a couple dozen videos back or I don't know and go look yourself. You'll see. Apparently all that in Mario Endgame was just the result of poor testing. But seriously, how did you mess everything up? I was already complaining in Endgame, I don't need to continue. I think I already said what needed to be said about that. Now this is a different hack. So yeah, so far it's alright. Except I don't really approve of you using two different clouds from two different games when you can just use one. Besides, I look the like the I like the look of the OG Zion one better because it's easy, it's clearer to see. Yeah. You could have picked just one, seriously. Oh god, footballs. Well that could have been a lot worse. So yeah, the Japanese hackers mostly do keep their work to themselves, and hell, on even some of the ROM hacks, you'll see in plain English in big red letters do not redistribute. Well, I'm not one for redistributing Japanese hacks. I just want to play them on YouTube and review them. I want to see what kind of mysterious creations they are. So yeah, Japanese hacks, let me tell you, they put more... Fuck. They put more emphasis on ASM, generally. So yeah. You're probably gonna see more weird things that most hacks don't have. You might not see so much emphasis on level design, you might see more on ASM, like... Just manipulating the code to produce new things. Brutal Mario would be a, would be a really good example. One of the Japanese hacks that's still really easy to access. 
Yet the Japanese people, who tend to keep the hacks to themselves, can't seem to affect accept the fact that information wants to be free. It's a pretty big rule of the internet, I don't know which one it is. Okay, it's not necessarily information wants to be free, but it's something along the lines of, if you look hard enough, you'll find it for free. I think that's what the rule states. If you look hard enough for something, you can find it for free. It's been pirated. Coming from the TV trope, information wants to be free. Because the internet pretty much... Ah, yeah. oh, great, glitchy pads. I haven't been seeing a lot of glitchy pads lately, okay? That thing is moving fast. Why am I being seeing freaking glitchy pads lately? What do I do to deserve this? Okay, he's not moving. Is he stuck there, or what the hell's going on? Okay, well that's a weird enemy. That's a freaking weird enemy, that hedgehog. Well, if I just kill them with Goombas and whatnot, or do things like that, then I'll be fine. Because like, I've never seen an enemy so fast in a long while. Or maybe I have an endgame. What the fuck? It passed through the friggin'... What the? Okay. Okay, tell me that makes sense. The frickin' hedgehog is in the wall. Okay, now I gotta spin jump off. Yeah, I don't even know if it's gonna move anywhere. What the fuck is it doing inside the wall? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, one up. Seriously, why the hell would that hedgehog be in the frickin' wall like that? Okay, let's just take the switch with me, and let's go. Why the fuck did that hedgehog pass through the wall like that? It doesn't make a lick of sense, and it probably never will. At least the level's alright so far, except for that freaking random hedgehog that goes through the wall. Like, what the fuck? Seriously, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. It's about as weird as the Hammer Brothers in Mario Endgame that just jumped through the floor. Which is actually kind of good, because, yeah, you don't have to deal with them. Only you can go down. Okay, maybe they stop and they move. Who knows? All I know is I don't want to take risks with them, because they're freaking weird enemies. What am I supposed to do with this switch anyway, I wonder? Am I supposed to just hold on to it? Because I don't know what to do else to do with it, or what? Okay, at least they can be killed with fire. That's one saving grace. Well, it's gonna save me. It doesn't save the hack, it saves me. The fact that those can be killed with fire. Like, what else would I be... Uh-oh, where do I go? Okay, can I have the midpoint? Yes, I can, thank you. Porcupuffer, except it's not a porcupuffer. It's... I think it looks like one of the fish from New... Maybe it is, except it looks like it's from New Super Mario Bros. Not from Super Mario World, like the one I'm used to seeing. This is kind of nice. These freaking hedgehogs are a little... It can piss me off, though, because, yeah. Hedgehogs, I've never seen anything so fast in a long while. Except for an endgame, but then again, just, yeah. Okay, cool, you can slide into them, too. That's good news. And that can still be cool. Oh, I thought that was a hedgehog. It's just a shell. So this is kind of nice so far. Except I might want to hurry my ass up, because time. Yay, he's dead. Get that. Now what? Yeah, I definitely gotta hurry this up. Except I should be close to the end. I got all the D coins! Ending! There we go! Yeah. Ghost house, let's just go. Bonus room music, really? What's in here? Can't pass through it. Secret exit. Let's go this way. What the hell are these green blocks for? Let me guess. The Koopa, Kel uh, the Koopa shell can get rid of them. That's about it, though. M. Okay, how does this make any sense? What the hell are these supposed to be? 
So he's supposed to be. Okay, let's grab this. Oh god, what are these supposed to be? Okay, the enemies are bouncing, but I don't know what else is going on. You don't bounce with them. It's just those sprites that bounce off these freaking weird blocks. However, for you, you just pass right through them as if they were nothing. Silver pea! Yay! I can actually just get down here. I guess this switch is gonna bounce too. Yay! This is- okay, this is pretty cool. Except I don't know what the point of this is. Do I even need the shell? Let's just go anyway with this switch instead. Yeah, those blocks are pretty awesome, except the fact that they just look weird tech- they just look weird graphically. Technically, they're awesome. Okay, there's probably where we use our silver switch. Okay, let me grab this. Freaking weird M blocks again. R. Must be a reset door. Okay, I need a cool. Oh. Wait, where the hell is it? Oh. Okay, that's impressive. Okay, that's definitely impressive. Get down here. Oh, crap. Wait, what? Oh, I obviously went the wrong way. I have to friggin' watch for which M's are the right way. This is kind of stupid, though. And we are officially at the door. Go in. What the hell is in this door? 